I stream daily, almost daily on twitch.tv slash canister underscore mtg, so be sure to visit that if you would like to catch some of my live content. Hello! And welcome to the Twitch chat. Cue all the is Titan dead questions, because... It sure looks like it, right? I'm not playing it today. Has to be dead then. <clears throat> Instead, playing a midrange deck. And it's mid, but I'm on the play, so I have Ragavan and you. A weak play of turn 2 Coxa. Well, you know, if Ragavan hits and I play turn 2 Fable, hand is great. So there is that pressure on my villain opponent. It says that they've been spotted two days ago playing Indomitable Creativita. Master deck would have 5 removal for Agavan. I only have 4 Agavan and they have 5 removal so there is zero chance it survives that. Holy shit, 1 Elish, 1 Elish, 2 Terrasted on 1 Iona. Now that's a sideboard. Seems like Ragavan does hit. Which is nice. Turn to Fable should go a long way, especially since my hand could use some fixing. I could discard many of the cards I have around here. Which will also subsequently fuel Croxa and I should have a good amount of treasures. Available. Probably like, you know, very likely that my opponent would just have a ran in their hand if I was on the draw. Then I would have mulligan, I guess. I would have mulligan on the draw. Only kept this because I was on the play, but you know, there is a chance they just play. No, they don't. Okay. Let's keep pick your poison. Maybe they play Fable or play they do have binding in their deck, likely. So, should I discard Nurturing Peatland or two fetches? One, two, three. This could be an extra card for my Crocs escaping the fetch land. So, I'll discard the Peatland. I regret discarding Peatland, sort of. <coughs> Seems like we do get to hit them though. What will Monkey get? 10 and 6. Well, I can get my Peatland right back. Sure. Do I care about deploying a Croxa? I have 3 cards in my graveyard. Possibly 4. 5, 6. Can Croxa escape Croxa if I don't get a land? So probably I could play Ren and ping them. I also have green mana in my, in my deck. I could fetch green. Fetch green. I have four cards in my graveyard. Five, six. And next turn I have enough mana. Could also, they could also remain my Ren. A like yellow remain is an option. Let's say villain yellow remains my run. How do I like that? Then I probably would prefer to just play Croxa. If I want to play Croxa, I have to spend a treasure anyway, so... Let's play Croxa first. If they want to... Like, if they so they have to spend yellow remain on, on Croxa. And then I get to resolve run. If they don't spend yellow remain, then I guess I'll just... Play Survillain and ignore Ren, I think. Because the treasure is probably like worth more. Using Rakyu, Raukyu's theater is probably worth more. And the all ch chances of them having yellow remain in hand are non zero. And then, like, if they get to cast it, but, like, drop to 11, but then they go Ren Ping. If they don't have Fable. Pelpius too. Orkish Bowmaster seems like an okay card to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
to keep. It works well enough against um, dwarfs. Villain shocks to play the deuce. Okay. I want to keep bow masses because I can ping a dwarf, which might be relevant. Not so relevant with the clue, but uh, bow masses notably not too bad against Archon. Figure poison can also be an answer to Archon. Actually, it's very convenient. I guess if they don't kill Ragavan, I don't have an answer to. I don't have a way to summon Croxa. Time Raveler. Mm hmm. Bounce a token makes sense. He's a phenomenal control player. Pick your poison for Cyan Resident Sleeper Hit Slash Slash Run for Cyan Jagakut. Hmm. I didn't think of Hit Run. Now I remember that I've seen somebody mention it in the Discord, so. Assuredly. Hit run. Target player sacrifices an artifact or creature. Hit deals damage to that player's equal that per moment's converted mana cost. Then it's also extremely strong anthem effect for my bowmasters. Yeah, you I could play one in the sideboard. That would be funny. So, it would be nice to hit something, Sander's launch. So if I do this, like, I think we beat the creativity. If I deploy Croxa now. Like maybe it's better to keep your pick your poison to kill the Archon. So like but I like, I think we are fine. The Archon kills this, goes to ten. Nine. This like reanimates into another orc. Oh they don't even have creativity. Holy shit. <coughs> Pretty sure they don't have removal. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Discard Archon. Block Coxa. Grab a treasure. We get a yellow remand. Minus one damage. Oh, how come this didn't attack? Good point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, uh, this one didn't attack because it didn't feel like. Super Mario Free Masturbation Masturbatory Madness. A grand day out. A re upload. Not in film. Now, no grand change. cover. How curious. Mm. Your poison is so so. Probably like you could play like two copies. Yes. Binding in Fable, it's not blank, but it's kind of bad. Which seems kind of bad. I think I'd prefer like we have Moon, Moon Bar with Picker Poison. No, let's not play Picker. Well, Picker Poison can answer Archon afterwards, so it's like also worthwhile because of that. 
Watch up, Bone Crusher John goes face and kills the dwarves and fables. It's instant speed. Of course, Picker Poison and Blood Moon combo is a bit awkward, but both Fable and Ragavan make treasures, so I actually think it's acceptable. Also, have Ragavan against dwarves, but we'll manage. Collagon seem, seems bad. I think I'll, I'll just one sideboard anymore. I don't know, seems like a trivial matchup, really. Opponent is a pile of white, yellow remains and spell pierces and de deduces. Well, I have a Iraqius theater on the draw. Exquisite. Well, I'm keeping, no way I'm not keeping. They multi six, but. Maybe I'll draw a land for Ragavan. Maybe I don't want to cast a turn one anyways because of Ren. I probably do with Lightning Bolt, but... Swamp. Well, Swamp is not doing it. Not doing quite all that much for me, but I think it's helpful enough. Let's me turn three, perform two actions, so... Like, it would be better to join fetch line instead, probably, but because of Croxa, but I think I'll manage. This could be deduce or yellow remand. I feel incentivized to bowmaster them. Because of that, I did shock. Ha <laughs> ha! Bro will not recover. Of course, it has its own downsides, namely like that. You know, they will be able to to creativity, perhaps, but with with the clue token, but. Whatever. Now they can get to like play Ren, ping my Bowmaster if they want to. They could play Fable. But it's it's good for the most part. Smiling anything on my orcs, that's fine too. Play Voidwalker and play Ragavan. Play the Intervention version. Oh, if they do make an Arco, then I sacrifice Orc Army Discard Croxa. That's just Iran. It's gonna ping my Dwarf, but that's fine. Pitch Grieve, I think. They yellow remand, that's fine. Then I have yellow remand underneath my void walker. And I probably just chill with that. So I will Storm Dwarf. Hit ran. Like, I could almost just attack them. So that Voidwalker plus attack is lethal for them, but... Feels like de reducing the resources can't really go wrong. Wish I could pitch my grief sometimes, bros. Yeah. Life would be much more pleasant than... Pitch my grief. Evoke my solitude. You know, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Let's pitch grief again. Spell Pearson ran. 
Ren seems mostly blank. I think I like to attack them last turn much more. Okay, Mr. Hansight. No, I mean, there was like an argument for attacking them. Because that would mean that if they fail to kill my Voidwalker and I attack them with Voidwalker and kill them. But I think Chilling has an extremely high win rate. I keep Voidwalker untapped because it gives me access to Yellow Remand. So that my opponent cannot top deck creativity. Or other, well, they can top deck it, but nothing will happen. And then next turn, Voidwalker plus Pod will kill them. Or like this, Bone BGC. Bone Grusher Giant. Oh no, red, red. That's too much, man. <laughs> Throw with clue. He's a phenomenal control player. Fabulous. But dashing is probably wrong because of spellpears existing in their deck. So I guess time to get wrecked by myself. Also yellow remand. The dashing was really bad actually. Fetchlands do cost life, but not enough life. Fetch under dwarf then charm block block goes to one. Silk and Creativity. Will there be a canister set review for the new set? Yes, I'm assuming the full spoiler is out tomorrow. So I'll make it on Monday. I'll do it on Monday. You're three days late to play Jand. Good one. So actually I can die to creativity now, it's stupid. Yeah, and I let them cycle the yellow remand. Holy shit, this was not so clean. Let's go. Holy fuck. Wow, Grand Cenobite. Okay, we can bolt them. Yeah, almost, almost got myself, but... Grand Cenobite. <laughs> Holy shit. Is this really better than Archon of Cruelty? You sure, buddy? Sure about that? Holy shit, Croxa seems to st stick to my hands. So I'll pitch Grief. Could keep Grief and in that case it would have been better if I... Okay, it's thrown. Thinking of taking two stars and pick your poison on the map. That sounds bad. I think I'll take the Wandering and Sphere. Voidwalker can blank the star. I'll get... Uh, the pick your poison land. No, I'll take the map. That's better. Pick your poison should be like good later, and I want to play the void void walker. I think my hang-up so far has been that you're playing drop poker by yourself to melee target so score. Yeah, that's effectively what you're doing, but then you can also use the items in the shop to change your deck, alter your deck, make it better, worse, switch the colors of 
of cards, etc. This is interesting. I could take the sphere and hope to kill them before they ever get to Ulamog. Pretty far away. Unfortunately, I didn't draw a line to blank their chromatic star. Is Tron good again or Cope? It's probably fine. Ancient strings. What is this mine? Does it complete Tron? Yes. If I draw a discard spell, I can take the Rulamog. Chad, remember when during PT Barcelona, Christian Calcano famously threw Ulamog across the table to hand it over to Jack Bersley. And that was considered an iconic moment. Wasn't that rude? Did you just throw it? A tiny bit. Bro is gonna want this card, Bro Sergio. Before it was money, fair. They need tower to cast Ulamog next turn either. And even then, I can draw a fetch and escape Croxa, so. Or draw Lightning Bolt. Or even Bowmaster's villain will be at one life because of Wicked. Wicked roll. They draw a ring, whatever. I pick my Poison and I win. Canister wins. How curious. So, how is pick your Poison against Tron? Not very good because I want to wound them. I do not want to push them. Pick your poison seems bad against the stars. You can hit the ring, but it's probably not what the matchup is about. We uh, hit the ring with bone masters in this matchup, so let's have bone crushes to get through ring protection instead. 21 lands, but the, the beat lands. Do Eldrazi fly? Depends on El Eldrazi. Is it worth discarding poison to escape on non fetch lands? I thought about it a little bit, but not enough to actually do it. In France, pick your poison kills the merfolk. Why? I get it because poison is fish. Holy shit. Ooh, what a hint. Keep? Probably put back grief. If I draw a combat trick, it's gonna be bad, but I mean, hand makes so much sense otherwise. Is it really John when Ragdus only splash for Pip? The name is kind of a joke. Specifically like on that fact. Piffing Needle. Let's go Verdon Catacombs. Why do I have Piffing Needle? What do I... Voidwalker? Okay. What did this grab? Mine. I'll be really short on swamps if I blood moon now. <coughs> so, of course, this like risks stuff but maybe they won't have thrown power plan they will have thrown so i'll take the grand great content creator they have strings they can't cast next time i fetch swamp thrown maybe i even don't run maybe i don't even moon i play shoulder no i won't 
So you can top the ring. Oh, lucky draw sphere, not star. Possibly they board out stars. And a villain could draw the onion ring now with the rings. Could also play Karn, great content creator, but that doesn't really do anything. Their hand is tower, purple, and oh, onion ring. Holy crap. They find Oblivion Stone in the top few cards. That will be bad for me. <sighs> but hopefully they won't find it. I played Moon last ten. Things wouldn't have been so great for me either. So unfortunately, I just got hit by a severe case of being on the draw. But yeah, hopefully no Oblivion Stone. And then we can play. If the villain fails to Oblivion Stone, then life can be okay. Another Onion Ring. Aye, that also prevents my Shouldered Mana. That's similarly rough. It does not prevent my shouldered mana. So now even if they play Oblivion Stone, they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So they are in Bolt range. Maybe Forest. Boseju. Ah. Well. That's okay. Thank you to all the pros that consulted on lot saying four mana spells are unplayable. Spacebar question mark. That's exactly what they said, yeah. There is no information online that would contradict what you posted in my chat, friend, buddy, brother. Which member? This member. I got this this the one that got rid of my Joel Dread. Cast a fucking one ring again, holy shit. He's coming, not so much, I'm just sitting there. Like an idiot. Not dealing any combat damage for three turns straight because my opponent has been ringing. Biggest wish for MH3, spell snail that counters only CMC4. Holy shit. That would solve modern. What a pithy needle, though, yeah. It's not too bad. Pick your poison. Wow, they have pick your poison. Nice star. They just need green. They have eight cards. They don't need to draw more. So, villain has 11 mana. Will they cast a Tron card with their Tron mana finally? Yeah, still cast expedition map. Okay. You know, I probably should have played Grief last turn to have more creatures on the battlefield. It's really no use to have it in my hand. Like this, how does discarding a card matter? Shouldn't have played like that. Eight man no plays. This is curious. <clears throat> Dismember my monkey. That's better than See, die in two turns. It's not beneficial for me to deploy Sorcery Speed or Kishbow Masters, I don't think so. <clears throat> or is it? Like, what, does, what are the benefits of keeping it in my hand? 
Got Bligginstone, kill like Ulamog, kill it. They didn't have Ulamog. But they could draw it. Still, still die to two ring upkeep triggers, so I think I just pass and I have to deal with the board and then. I don't know. Kind of needs another ring and they already spent three. <clears throat> they tap ring, I play bow masters and skill. <clears throat> Pretty impressive game to lose for my villain opponent. I definitely should have played Grief previously. Only land strong. Nice deck, bro. He's playing Asmo. If I do nothing, nothing. Fable, Fable, Fable. Let's say I keep this and I ensure I make it to mana play by playing Verdant Catacombs and fetching the Survey land to find my Bowmasters that answers his turn one Ragavan. Oh no, not the cockbook. Cookbook is pretty good against Pick Your Poison, actually, when you think about it. Can never get it. Cycle Sweet Raven response, that's odd. Oh. Fair. I think I just got a Wormlet. <clears throat> Scaring a two drop makes no sense. And next turn we start enacting the fable plan of playing a fable every turn. Well, that's a good draw. Dash Ragavansky. Exile a swamp. Oh no, man, that's too much. Play a wormlet. Anti anti breakout. Ravagan. Might want to discard the swamp. Might want to have a green source for P pure poison. Villain could grow the wormlet. Decides not to. Good, good. Worst case for me, villain draws a land. If villain doesn't draw a land, that's fine. Holy shit, I guess you can do that. That's crazy. Discarded under NT. He discards Ragavan now. If he hurts a land, he plays Ragavan. Discarded Cockbook. <clears throat> No, Veron Catagombs, brother. It's such a good hit here for you. That changes everything. I need Fury Scam to come back. So, Veron send this Breakout Dragavan. What's using does nothing. I think. He's a phenomenal control player. Because making a construct is just as good. Wikipedia entries sting. Mr. Chimba, thank you very much for doing the joke with 
while sparing the joke. I appreciate that a lot. It's actually very nice of you. 33 is a prime too. And he subbed with prime. This changes everything. We need to draw removal. And not pick your poison. Let's discard pot season void rocker. He's a phenomenal control player. Thank you for your content. Thank you, buddy. Holy shit. Swiss deck playing lightning bolts. I was supposed to kill Anti first. Let's kill Anti. Before griefing. Lightning Bolt enter the deck's L zone. His deck is playing Lightning Bolt. Thank you, Rancid underscore Flash, for your subscription. Why modern is not fun? Great question. Why modern not fun? Pick your poison seems like a better saga answer than. Blood Moon, although it's not excellent because it can be blank. I probably want like two. Croxa seems pretty bad against Oval Chase, their Devil Axe there. Fail Push seems good. Kogalon seems good. Might be a Knight's Whisper matchup. Probably only like double pick your poison. It's just Saga that I want to kill. But like Saga is pretty great to kill. Cut Coxa. Shoulder seems great. Maybe I trim a Ragavan, but I want to play and this deck doesn't have good Ragavan answers really. On the play. Maybe I trim a Fotsis. I think Fotsis seems. Kind of sketchy. The best card is Saga. Maybe I just cut Fotsies entirely. Fotsies actually seems pretty bad. Maybe I want BGC to kill this Inti. And like under Picker Poison, that's probably better. I could have half Night Whisper over stuff. Cauldron against Daredevil. I could do that, but not really much of a fun. The idea. I have Voidwalker. This deploys Ragavan and then deploys another Ragavan if needed. Bowmasters is Ragavan and then Bowmaster is probably not all that excellent in the matchup, but especially given anti trample. But if I keep anti of the table, then it sounds pretty good. Keeps a card on top. Monkey hits the hits the villain. Villain exiles Urza Saga. I play Fabua of the Mirror Bracker. I probably have Fotsies over Bragavan on the draw. Bros, what the fuck? What? I'm playing Scam. Strong deck. Asmurano, Mardikada, Istina, Kudakara. I'll discard two Ragavans. I'll stomp Asmurano, Mardikada, Istina, Kudakar. Attack. 
ping it. Ping, excuse me, ping master and indicate the lack of dagger. And I guess we look what we get with the treasure because maybe I'll cast something. Holy shit, we got anti initial of the sun. That would be pretty decent to play, but I can't. I play Breakout. I reveal Asmorano Mardikada Istina Kuldakar. The Underworld Cookbook entered the revealed card the zone. Fair. Fetch land. Pay life. Fetch mountain. Forest. Base forest. Makes sense, I guess. Cog booked. Let's see if villain has overchased their devil to boost Asmorano Mardikada Istina Kuldakar. 1, 2, 3, 4. I think I play Grief. Holy shit, a 3-3 free free is so good. He doesn't have the cookbook support. Realm and Realm Renderer. This doesn't do anything. Does it? I think I'll take NT. The second cookbook, sure. Go, go off, buddy. Discard your hand. That's what you want to do. Be my guest. You also have the option of chum attacking for 4 damage and a treasure. But I don't think that interests me. Villain is kind of incentivized to kill my reflection pr proactively. Villain might also think I have a combat trick. My treasure, so let's keep that up. So, villain has Posejure and then Realm Breaker. Discards Voted Thought Heal us. Doesn't interest you. Holy guacamole. What you said is true. Oh, Posejure Reflection, fair. So we get Rakus Theater, Theater, Theatrical Release, and we get Pick Your Poison, which is actually bad. I don't want it. Spend Treasure to kill this card, Ren. No. Kill Grief in my Unkeep. Now I'll jump attack. Let me play Shouldered and Gonk, Gonk Brusher. So yeah, villain blocks Ravagan now. I think playing Grief doesn't make sense because villain just discards. And, well, I guess worst case, if I keep them with Ren, then Villain goes Oki okay, on top. Take two damage, play Ren, mill. Mill over Daredevil. Pick up something. I like counter cookbook, make free food skill. Shoulder, but I have four life and I die to, bo to the board. Also, no Daredevil. So, on the draw, I'll cut my Ragavans. Because they have trouble attacking through the 3-3. Free free. And I'll have... Knight's Whisper. Actually, I can have Curse Totem. But this is just Asmo that it stops. Not really interested. I guess a Piffing Needle would go a longer way in this matchup. So I'll just have three Pot Sizers. Okay, 
so-called drone is for the yog move matchup so that when villain holy shit what a hand i don't think i can keep that Eh. can i i don't think i no hmm Uh, so Cauldron is for one villa and plays Yogmoth. Mm. I guess. Not excited. Villain sounds pretty bad. Well, if you're up against Yogmoth, you can like Agatha's Soul Cauldron is good because it exiles Yogmoth to like give you the Yogmoth abilities. Cast breakout, nothing happens. Solid, solid card, really. Truly impressed with it. So if you have your own cauldron, then it stops their cauldron because you exile the Yogmoth and you get Yogmoth ability. Increased abilities on your Pomasers. It's not, it's untested, but like, since it's exiles from your opponent's graveyard, it seems like it should be fine against opposing Soul Cauldrons. Until your next end step. So if I kill it in the end step, then. Villain still gets to cast, right? How has Manic Pip been? Pretty solid. No complaints there, it's been good. Which seems valuable against Villain's deck. But yeah, it's to prevent Inti. Because I had to do it immediately. Flips three tray for a deck. The villain has one lightning bolt in hand. Each opponent sacrifices an escarment. So villain has just bolt in hand. Should be able to beat that unless villain top decks under saga. Villain top decks verdant catacombs, which is a blank. If I draw lands, I can play Shouldered. If I don't draw lands, I draw spells. But if I draw spells, they're probably Fable of the Mirror Breakers and Grief and Fotsies, so I guess life stuff, no matter what. Okay, no hand, Fotsies, as envisioned. Gosh, I am so glad I cut Ragavan from my deck. Buddies. I'm so glad Ragavan is not here to be deployed and Make a treasure for my shoulder. Red. I don't think there is anything that he wouldn't play. Maybe a bolt. Probably not worth. Like if I draw Fable, I might discard the Potsies. Yeah, Daredevil. Holy shit. Now Asmo is a strong draw. Oh, I guess it's gonna be strong once. I draw a land to play Shouldered, and before that it doesn't really matter because I kill Asma before it kills anything relevant. The Orc army I can do without. Yeah, I'm not sure about Fotsis versus Ragavan with how this game plays out. Like, Fotsis can be so bad against hands with Daredevil too. When they just like don't really have Fotsisable cards that you can attack. Alright, now that I drew my land, surely Villain will immediately materialize Asma on top of their deck too punish me and destroy both of my creatures as I cry myself to sleep, but there is also a world where my opponent draws another land or Tarmogoyf or Ragavan or Saga 
or whatnot. Anything that's not Asmo, and then they die in two turns to Joldred attacking them. So hold your horses, Chad, and clench your buttocks. For my villain, for my villain not going, cookbook discard, Asmo fetch cookbook, cookbook discard, kill kill. GG. Because then, even if like I can draw something good, then villain has cookbooks on the battlefield which can bring back Asmo, and I just can't break through that. And that Sugar is pretty strong versus this deck. That is true. I can't hit that Sugar consumes all because I. Assume that no villains will play cards that will make it relevant for me to hate on them. You catch my drift. I just thought it's irrelevant, but an irrelevant deck, but maybe I'm wrong. I play Bone Crusher. Then the villain goes food. Asmo, food, food. Kill, kill. They keep only 1-1, one, one, doesn't matter. To play the Bone Crusher, I think. Maybe Nile Spell Bomb would be useful. Stops a cookbook, but only if there is only a single one on the battlefield. So it's just always sketchy. Villain passes. Dumping Matrix would go hard in this matchup. Holy shit. Can't imagine I didn't think of Dumping Matrix. This is a good draw, I think. Maybe if I play the Bone Crusher, I would like have villain at less life. What a deck. In six again. Well, like now I want to be holding up the Nob Dead after all for Shouldered. It makes sure it Shouldered survives through Asmo even. With just one foot in play. I'll push Asmo and then not dead after all. And response. And yeah, when I saw John in the title, I thought you were gonna play villain's deck. Well, dead wrong you were. Alright, time to start converting life points to, to damage. Because um, villain goes to 3, 9, 6, 9 again takes 5, goes to 2. Prompts all the food usage, so uh, Asmo sucks. Bone Rusher Giant. This orc army attacking for the eighth, seventh time perhaps seven damage from, eight damage from orc bowmasters, nine damage maybe, because bowmasters itself attacked once. All right, Dreddy Bye, show me what you are made of. So uh, I actually did that. Also, chat, today's stream is going to be a bit longer than they've been lately. Bread with pasta, with hummus. I don't know if it's... 
why is to pitch bow masters? Probably is right. Why would I need two bow masters? Oh, hmm. Go figure. But I was about to say that today's stream is going to be a bit longer because I will also stream the Pioneer prelim happening in an hour. And I am awaiting your suggestions as to what to play in it. My default is going to be Phoenix. Holy shit, 7-1 last challenge. Greater Kanuki. What a deck. Valence has Undying Evil, so I have to play Boyd Walker. Oh, I get it. You play Angra's Rampage and you choose Sacrifice Artifact. And then Dylan has to sacrifice... Uh, Strion. It's so good. Targets though. Well, target player. Is that an issue? Do you get Leylined? Oh, the onion ring. Yeah, I'll, I'm playing pick your puzzle, puzzle and then. Now I suppose gets blanked by Vodoker too. Control player. I have one cheeky Ragavan. Streamer Lord Canister, why did you call this Jund midrange and not Jund scam? It's for... It's to subvert your expectations. So that you think, holy shit, he's playing Jund midrange? Jolgrath's Edict better than Ungrant, in your opinion? Yeah, I had Jolgrath's Edict yesterday in the prelim. But I think the card is just way too bad. And I cut it for like third pick your poison. It's blank in a few matchups, but that's fine. Whatever. It's so, like so much better of a card. Two mana removal spells, just so bad. And I think Scam should. Just take advantage of not having to play two mana removal spells anymore. An argument could be made for waiting till their turn because if they protect and I have an easy bone crusher turn. <clears throat> Here, Bone Crusher matches up well against both Bone Masters and Fable.
Oh, the works out insanely well. Upon destroyed by a draft combat trick, yeah. Was it that good, Mr. Streamer? I think so. Mm. 